Jacques Chirac never tried to hide his long-lasting fascination for the African continent. I have long-lasting, solid personal ties with many among you, and you know how much I love and respect Africa. Here, Jacques Chirac always felt at home. Unlike other presidents, he never hesitated to mix with the crowds, shaking hands and hugging those who greeted him. He soon positioned himself as one of the continent's biggest advocates. France is determined to continue its involvement in Africa. Right after his election in 1995, Chirac brought Jacques Foucault to the Elysee Palace, a man widely considered to be the architect of France's African diplomacy in the 1960s. In line with the policies of his predecessors, Chirac remained close to several post-colonial leaders. But his sense of loyalty raised a few eyebrows over the years. Chirac sincerely congratulated Gabon's Omar Bongo for his re-election with more than 90% of the vote in 2005. He also defended his friend, Togolese President Nyasimbe Iadema, who was accused of getting rid of political opponents. In Africa, people considered that France was conducting its policies based on personal preferences. If a certain figure was a friend, everything was okay for him. If he wasn't, he would face complications. And that's something the president of the Ivory Coast found out the hard way. Laurent Gbagbo's election in 2000 wasn't welcomed by Chirac, who remained loyal to the party of his old friend, Félix houphouët boigny Relations between the two countries deteriorated rapidly, despite Gbagbo's claim that he helped finance Jacques Chirac's re-election campaign. According to lawyer Robert Bourgi, Chirac received money from other African leaders as well, but the allegations were never proven. I personally transferred about $20 million to Jacques Chirac and Dominique de Villepin between 1995 and 2005. In his 12 years as president, Chirac regularly stood up for Africa on the international stage. He launched various initiatives, including a solidarity tax on air travel, and pleaded to alleviate the continent's debt. Yet in the mind of many African youths, he also embodied a more paternalistic and corrupt side of Franco-African relations.